I happen to be the apostolic administrator of Trondheim or Nidaros as it was in medieval times and the Bishop of Oslo. Orkney was a part of the Norwegian Kingdom. The population spoke Norwegian and was of Norwegian roots. Saint Magnus belonged to one of our noble families, uh, was the great nephew of Saint Olaf and also the cousin, I believe, of the patron saint of Oslo, Saint Halvard. Uh, for us, this is still the part of Norvegia Sacra or Holy Norway, because he was our at least second most important saint and martyr. So it's quite a moving thing for me to be here for the first time. First of all, I'm with a very friendly group of the Scottish Bishops' Conference and my colleague from Copenhagen and the Bishop from Westminster. Uh, but also the people here are very friendly and the pilgrims from uh, Aberdeen, yeah, it's a very, very pleasant group. And then the church in Norway uh, is, it was always very small after the Reformation. Uh, when it came back in 1843, there might have been 100 to 150 Catholics in the country. Welcome in a special way to the Bishop of Oslo, Ben Eisvig, and to the Bishop of Copenhagen, Czesław Koison, and to Nicholas Hudson, an auxiliary Bishop of Westminster. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Um, after the war we were 3,000, now I would guess somewhere between 200 and 220,000. Almost 85% are born abroad, so only 15 in Norway. And we're growing very fast. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not vain our minutes, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. 2005 we were 42,000 so uh, for us the immigration has been a great blessing uh, not only because the church grows but it's a uh, good witness to Christ especially in the cities. So I hope they are united in prayer for us and for these islands and for the Diocese of Aberdeen.